I just recently upgraded my camera setup for my Raspberry Pi 4. I don't have a 5 yet. So today you're going to see how to set up the Arducam 8 megapixel for a Raspberry Pi 4. As much as I like the older 5 megapixel camera and some of its features like the wide angle view, the 8 megapixel Arducam actually looks pretty good. So let's begin. First thing I'm going to do in Raspberry Pi is try to run this Python program through Thonny. And as you can see, I, I need to install the tkinter library. And the image tk module, it depends on tkinter, so we can go to the command line here. And we can update our Raspberry Pi operating system, our Linux uh, bookworm version. Now we can install the tkinter library. The uh, image tk module depends on tkinter, so we will update that with the sudo apt install python3 pill python 3 pillimgetk I tried to run it again and it looks like I need to install libcamera so I'll go ahead and do that and we'll type in sudo apt install libcamera apps dash y and then we'll see if we can recognize our camera after the install libcamera dash hello should uh nope doesn't recognize it okay Maybe you need to install Pi Camera 2. If you do, we'll do update. Install Python 3 Pi Camera 2. Once that is updated, we will move on. There we go. Now we're going to modify some hardware settings on Raspberry Pi by going to boot forward slash firmware forward slash config.txt. Now you want to uncomment these hardware interfaces here, I square C and the spy. I also see here that I have a camera auto detect equals one. Now you want to go down to the bottom under the all section and I made sure that I have these three items down here. DT overlay equals VC4-KMS-V3D. DT overlay equals IMX219 and camera auto detect equals one. Even though I have it up top, I'm going to leave it here. It seems to work. I'm not going to change it. Now I'm going to go to raspy config and I'm going to enable the I square C interface. I'm going to also enable spy interface because some cameras connect by the spy protocol. So we'll just go down here to interface options. That's option number three. And I'll come down here to spy and I will enable that. And I'll do the same thing for I square C. Earlier when you set up the DT overlay, it stands for device tree overlay and it's used in Raspberry Pi to enable and configure these hardware features like uh, GPIO pins, i squared c and SPY, UART, um, and other hardware add-ons. So that is important to do as well as this step. Now we'll do a sudo reboot so that the changes can take effect. Okay, we rebooted. Now we want to check to see if it recognizes our camera. Let's do libcamera hello. And yeah. There we go, it works. So now we'll go back to Thonny and try to run our program. And it brings up the GUI. And hit start, preview. That works. Stop preview, capture image. That'll hold for a few seconds and it'll snap the picture and then go away that works and start recording and that works too so far let's go ahead and stop recording and you can see the file path down here yep works perfectly now I'm going to go to where they were saved and open them up to see if they're usable not corrupt Let's see, I open up this video file, mp4, looks fine. Go over here to the images folder, and images image looks fine. So yeah, it works pretty well. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to like by clicking the thumbs up. If you enjoy this type of stuff, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you again with another video.